<laughs> Love the story, folks. The plan weeks in the making. A husband and wife both deployed for nine months in Kuwait. It's so cute it tickles. Their final mission, coming home to surprise their kids. WJCL's Ashley Laios was there. Boy, oh boy, emotional homecoming. It was amazing. Emotional to say the least, Kevin and Jennifer. And get this, when they strolled through the front door, the kids didn't even know it was them. You normally see these guys in Orlando, not Savannah. I love you. But for one family, Jumping Jacks turned into a magic kingdom. <laughs> After nine months of being deployed, Staff Sergeants Quashana and Joseph Franklin are finally home. Oh, just like a sigh of relief. Like finally we're home. You know, you get to embrace the kids. It's been nine long months. Yes. Uh, just, just happy to be back. It took weeks of planning. Oh, Ooh. I was so anxious. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was nervous. I was so nervous. My yes. heart was beating so fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was um, extremely nervous. Yeah, I was definitely nervous. Uh, I was more nervous doing this than actually going back to Iraq. They surprised their four kids. Very excited. It blew my mind. Did you have any idea that they were coming home today? No. no. With a pretty original idea. The Franklin family we wanted to do something a little different this time. That's just what we do. Yeah. <laughs> but then another surprise. Man, we missed uh, every birthday. Yes. Well, then you can make it up with this. Thank you so much, ma'am. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. <laughs> $400 so dollars worth of birthday yeah. parties in one shot. I'm ready to hit some bounce houses. What's the weight limit again? I did lose hey, a few pounds. Money that will go toward time spent with their kids. Mwah. All right, big man. Yeah. Making this moment for this family the happiest place on earth. A homecoming doesn't get any better than this. No better than that. This isn't the first time a big surprise happened at Jumping Jacks. If you remember last year, a family was given a donation of $100,000 by another family at that center, Kevin and Jennifer. M I C K U I M O U S C. That's, That's right. so clever and so cool. I know. And to have both, well, you know, one parent leaving, getting deployed is hard enough, but both Imagine parents both, yeah. for nine months. Yeah. Tough time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But incredible a great story. homecoming. Yeah. It was so cute. It makes me goofy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My daughter, Stacy, my son, Eric, and my wife, Deb. Sergeant First Class Rick Fuller has waited since last spring to see his grandkids again. And Tuesday afternoon, in the teacher's lounge at Thomas Jefferson School in Milan, the wait continued a few minutes more. This is going to be a total surprise. They don't even know I'm here. When protests broke out in Egypt, the military canceled the Fuller family's trip to visit him, so he came home instead. <laughs> Safely stowed out of view, his grandchildren's classes filed into the cafeteria for what they thought was an assembly with the Red Cross. Boys and girls, we have a very special presentation today from... But then, Grandpa walked in. <laughs> Hi. Hi. A soldier's homecoming, complete with tears from his daughter and family, applause from his grandchildren's classmates. Mission accomplished. Ah, I love you guys. Yeah, you too. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen you. Yeah. Who did you see walk into the room? Grandpa. Yeah? And what did you do? Go right up to him and hug him. I was so surprised. I didn't even know he was coming. Did you like it? <laughs> Were you surprised? What do you want to do with your grandpa while he's home? I want to spend a lot of time with him. I never knew he was coming. I want to hear about what he did in Egypt and spend some time with him. I got to leave on the 6th again of next month. Cameron, what do you want to do with Grandpa while he's home? Sit with him. Sit with him? Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, some stories? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Do you want to hear about Egypt? Mm-hmm. I'm in here, Mom. Oh, Brian's here. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Nice. What are you doing? Well, well I've seen all the car, you seen your, your car, so I just come in. We're all here. here. It's homecoming. Did you bring your wife with you? Yeah, we're here in the living room. Oh, how we're nice. I didn't know we were going to have a party. <laughs> Why wouldn't we?
Well, I was a little worried, Brenda. I thought, oh my gosh, they forgot Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I didn't know. What you Are you okay? Is your heart? I bet you all were in on it, weren't you? Yeah. No, we didn't know. We didn't know. I didn't know. have a damn thing to do Now I gotta get you. That's who I got. Where's Jackie? Hi. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> I have to find Jackie. Oh, get Isabel and the boys. Oh, boy, she pulled it off on going. And the funny thing, I'm always saying I don't like surprises. Well, this one is okay. Well, good. This is okay. Oh my god, my battery's gonna die. This better this better hurry up. Good to see y'all again. I'm glad I was here. You always didn't have anything better to do today? I'm, I'm well. really glad I was here. <laughs> yes, we did, but I'm going to tell you about all that. Let, let everybody get up here real quick. Oh, my goodness. Let me get you to hold that. Did you not ever come in? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> he dressed up for you. You tell by your shoes. Gonna... <laughs> do you know your neighbors very well? But they they just keep looking. I know. know. Yeah. Are they good neighbors They're or just neighbors good, you can out at a distance? Yeah. Y'all can come on over here if you want. <laughs> we're waiting on you. She oh looks behind. Oh, my goodness gracious. So where were y'all going? Like y'all. He, was, I wasn't going he wasn't going anywhere. He wasn't well, going. I hope not. I... <laughs> <laughs> going for a walk. We're going on the best friend. Right. Yeah, oh, she's your best friend. Okay, we'll stand friend. over there. She's your best yeah. friend. Okay. Yeah. These are some of my best friends, yeah. too, by the way. I... So here's the deal. Okay. We, we came here in January yeah. and saw James off to going to Hawaii, I believe, is where he went, right? And Susan, of course, is here. She's the one that sent him off. I didn't get the, I was out of town that day and I couldn't be here. But what we're out doing today is it's so important that every year, and you probably got an email back on this uh, last year because of when we actually honored him. But the Calvary has an anniversary every year. And that anniversary is very important for you, 
and you and everyone you know to be there. It's it's kind of a re-honoring of those families that we've honored not only in the past year, but there's a lot of different things that take place that day. So we really try to stress to our, our families, because you're part of our family. So we try to stress to you guys, come and be a part of it. Spend a couple hours being patriotic and be a part of that, right? So one of the things we didn't do when we were here to send James off, because we didn't have one at the time, and now I'm gonna take that from you. We wanted to get him a certificate of appreciation from us. And that's what we're out doing today. We're out delivering these things to different families throughout the county, okay? So I'm gonna read this to you. This is the certificate of appreciation from Brazoria County Calvary. This is in thanks to supporting our American heroes as your son. Military, law enforcement, firefighters, and EMTs. This certificate is presented to U.S. Navy James Presley. And if you don't mind, I'm going to give that to you. And would you make sure that you get that to him? You would? Yeah. Would you do it today? I wish you could. Do it today. I wish you could. Do it. <laughs> 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 Donald Trump was kind enough to loan his jet for us to get him here <laughs> yesterday after being food poisoning. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot. <laughs> okay, so come here, Hannah. I actually already know Hannah. Y'all stand up here. And obviously, obviously the disguise worked, James. Okay, so now I'm going to let Hannah talk to you. I was so worried. <laughs> Jamie, this is your best friend, so now I'm going to let her talk to you. I don't know that you'll still be best friend. So, um, I've been lying to you, like, for two weeks. Patrick emailed me. That's why Shelly's working at the gates. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, <laughs> yeah, so John and Christian kept emailing me, is he still coming? She's so mad. And that's why I kept telling you, we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> so I'm sorry for lying because I'm not very good at it. But I knew you'd be so happy. So, Patrick, come. <laughs> hey, everybody give Hannah a big round of applause. Give her done this for that. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. So again, you'll definitely want to be there at the anniversary. That was that was actually a true statement there. And on that clipboard is that. Uh, let me get this. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Here you go, man. Here's your own. Here's your certificate or invitation trying to get you to come to the anniversary. So look, lots of lies. You were scheduled to work today too, just so you know. And that that all had to change. I think Hannah called your boss and everything else. And uh, I was so. You're still mad? Are, are you over it? Oh, and by the way, your friend's day out, hey, that was all crap. That's <laughs> your day. You know that? <laughs> your day out's with your I son. Had a suspicion, so. but I didn't know. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I'm going to actually let you say a few words. Here you go. <laughs>
cheese just down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows. <laughs> Sit. 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 And we're done. <laughs> <laughs>